Hey everybody, this morning, man, it's cold. It is cold, friends, and I'm trying to forget about that and just <laughs> focus on uh, some, a little project that I had um, kind of thought about. I've been doing a lot of T-Dod papers, and I was wondering about how different things would react to T-Dod papers um, and coffee dot papers. Um, so I took out a few little little things to play with this morning. I've got some Prismacolor markers. I've got some gelatos. Uh, one of my favorite things in the world is a Sharpie. And I've got a little white Posca pen. Um, I've got some Derwent ink tints. Um, watercolor pencils as well as a Julie Nutting set. I love this hair and skin tone set by Julie Nutting. So I, um, I sat here this morning and uh, disclaimer, I am not a painter, I am not a drawer. Um, but I'm very curious about how, um, how these papers are turning out and some of the patterns and images that I see when I pull these out of my oven after uh, tea dyeing, coffee dyeing, and baking them. So this morning I did this little piece, um, not a drawer, not a painter, um, but I wanted to show you how you can kind of use watercolor, uh, pencils, that kind of thing to enhance your tea dyed, coffee dyed papers, because I know that we all love these and we love the patterns and everything. And I thought, well, you know, when I start um, painting or drawing on this, the patterns disappear. Oh, no, no. The patterns get more apparent. Uh, the images get more apparent. So I wanted to just kind of show you guys what I stumbled on this morning, basically. Close your eyes. You're going in. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Um... This is my last batch of coffee dye tea dye. Now this was heavy on the coffee dye. Um, so, you know, this image to me looks like, you know, maybe the sunrise, cactuses. It looks very uh, Midwest, you know, maybe this is a plateau or whatever. Um, this one, to me, this part just looked like a kitty cat. <laughs> like little kitty cat ears. You know, you can kind of see the cat in the background there. Um, what do you think? It's a Rorschach test, y'all. Um, I see maybe an igloo with something here. Maybe, uh, you know, um, an obelisk here, an obelisk here. I don't know. With this one, I see, um, I see a, a lady's figure. You know, here are her legs. Her buttocks are right here. Um, I can actually kind of see her face. She doesn't appear to have like a full arm. Um, and then of course these circles that always seem to appear because I do something really special with my uh, coffee dot and tea dot papers. So it always, look, that kind of looks like a little kitty too. Um, and this looks like, you know, maybe the face of a person or something. And maybe they're um, peeking out from a portico or something. So just, you know, pay attention to your little tea dot things and coffee dot things. And you'll never, you never know what, what might, you know, what you might discover. So I'm just going to take a few minutes to uh, kind of enhance what I see here. And then we'll just kind of go from there. I'll just do a little chit chat and have my black. Oh my goodness, this coffee is excellent. It is, uh, it's bold and it's just awesome to get started on the day. I don't, how do you take your coffee, friends? How do you take your coffee? I take mine black. It's really delicious. Also, I use some stamps on that thingy I showed you just a minute ago, but I can't find you. Um, oh, here. Um, I used, like, small stamps on this as well. Yeah. Okay, the first thing that I see is um, a lady's figure right here. So, again, do not paint, do not draw. Um, but let's see if we can just enhance this figure a little bit. Sorry about the wiggle. We're going to have it because I have 
an El Cheapo um, phone holder thingy. Okay, so we're just going to kind of outline her because I do see her. I even see her other arm now. You know, this is going to be super abstract. This is her hair. You can definitely see that now. So I'm going to hit that with just, and I'm using that Julie Nutting kit. It's hair and skin, so we'll just do that. I'm going to take my brush and just lightly go over this and see what happens, okay? You know, we're not wanting to bring it out so much, but just give it a little bit of color. And then this can stand, she almost looks like she is, um, you know, she has, um, she's kind of turned away. But you can definitely see a figure here. I'm just taking some black and kind of, again, just kind of tracing her in. Not a painter, not a drawer, okay? But I wanted you guys to have fun with your, you know, with your papers. Um, because there's a lot more that you can do with them other than, you know, sorry, other than, um, other than just, you know, sticking them in um, a journal or something. You can really enhance them. I think with these uh, balls up here, I'm going to just kind of outline them with some water. And then I'll kind of show you what happens here. I learned my painting chops from Leanne at Creatively Free To Be Me. I love how she paints, um, but I am not a painter like she is, but I did learn, you know, I have learned some stuff from her. Actually, I've learned a lot from Leanne about a lot of things. There we go. So you can see, see, I thought that the lines in this would disappear. And I don't know if it's my particular technique or what, but the lines, you know, these outlines do not disappear. They stay where they are, which I love. Okay, let's look at some more shapes down here. I see something right here. I think I do want to kind of keep this um, in this very neutral-ish kind of style. So I'm going to go for, again, using the... I'm using the Julie Nutting watercolor pencils, and I'm just going to kind of block this in right here with some color. This is, um, I did not know these were made by Prisma, but they are. It does not have a color on it. Here. Um, do you see the kitty cat right here? But I'm not going to make that into a kitty cat. Um, I am going to, I think I'll just color that in as well. Okay, so there we have a few. I see a bird right here, but I am not a painter, not a drawer. Um, but let's, because I do see a birdish image. I'm going to, um, you know, just going to kind of do that in a little bit of blue. Of course, when you do something like this, it's like your imagination, friends, and it's 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 a um, it's a refreshing practice, you know, to just kind of kind of do something like this. I do see a little birdie right here. And there's this little head. Let's go ahead and color these in. See what we have here. See if it reveals itself anymore. I think we'll go ahead and go up with this. Put some, some water on here. And see if we can't get something... Um, that kind of go in in that direction. I leave my papers super wet. 
when I um, when I am doing tea dyed, coffee dyed, anything. All right, so if we did that one, then we probably want to kind of push this up here just to get it a little. And let's go ahead. This one is much bolder. Um, I think with that one, hmm, oh, it's okay. I'll just go with this again. This is a much fatter line. I'm sure I'm being so technical this morning. More coffee, please. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little bird, little cat, a woman right here. You know, does she need a horizon line? I don't think so because this whole thing is tilted this way. Um, let's go back and do, you know, she lives on a planet that has, you know, she lives on a planet where she has maybe three suns. I do want to make her hair a little bit longer here so we can kind of see that kind of cascading down her back. Not a painter, not a drawer, but I am a have a funner. <laughs> I am a have a funner. I do like to have fun. Okay, that really kind of enhanced her hair right there. Okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do with these three suns. I love them. Um, let's, um, dun, 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 dun. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I really don't wanna go too bold with them. Um, you know, maybe we'll add just a tiny bit of orange. I'll do like a little orange, orangey washy. I oh know, I can't believe I said that. You know, and these are circles. You guys know how much I love circles. There we go. Um, alright, let's, um, hmm, okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is dry this right quick and then um, and then finish it up with uh, some markers. Okay guys, I discovered as I was drawing this that more things were coming out. So I did do, she looks almost like she's rising from the water and she's looking at the suns up here. I also realized that these could be outcroppings, these could be rocks. I turned the kitty cat into a rock as well. I did leave the bird figure over here in blue. I'm taking uh, again a Julie Nutting pencil and just kind of going back over this parts of it are still wet and that's what is kind of giving it um you know a bit of that shiny quality that you see again you know it's just fun y'all it's fun um and I'm, I'm really happy that i kind of stepped out of my comfort zone this morning and threw some supplies on my desk along with some coffee dyed paper just to kind of see what might happen. Um, I'm going to define this little rock outcropping a little more. I'm going to pretty much leave the bird alone. I'm going to put maybe a, just a, a very uh, light horizon line right here. One right here. Um, one right here. And maybe one just right here to kind of denote that this is water. I did not use any stamps on this. Um, it just really did not seem to call for it. But I, um, you know, I gotta gotta tell you, I'm I'm kind of happy with it. 
I'm glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone this morning because I discovered something new and fun. And I hope that this will encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zone and try something try something different today because you just never know what might happen, y'all. So she really does look uh, a bit um, abstract. Um, she looks a little uh, mystical, um, kind of... <laughs> all over the place but I enjoyed the piece I enjoyed doing it not a painter not a drawer but just have fun y'all have a great day talk to you soon